uh, welcome guys welcome to the next tutorial so in the previous tutorial we saw that how to install go script library inside your command line now inside this tutorial guys i will be showing you that how to compress your large size multiple pdf documents inside the command line using this library which is called as go script let me just show you a short little preview of what we will be doing in this tutorial so you can just see here guys we have two pdf files out there one pdf file size is exactly 100 megabytes let me just show you you can see 100 megabytes and the second file pdf file is 20 megabytes so now after compression guys it has created this compressed folder and now the 100 megabytes file is reduced to 2 megabytes and the 15 megabytes has 20 megabytes has reduced to 9 megabytes so you can just see the files that I have used here if I open this file 100 megabytes in Google Chrome so basically this is kind of a ebook so many people use ebooks from internet so you can just see the quality of this file here which is 100 megabytes and now I will be showing you the quality of uh, this file which is reduced to 2 megabytes which is quite a lot of compression so if I open now this compressed file which is 2 megabytes if I open this again with Google Chrome so now you will not see any sort of difference guys so this is the same file which is reduced here you can just see I don't see any sort of difference the quality is preserved yet the size has been considerably reduced from 100 megabytes to 2 megabytes so we will be writing a simple bat file guys which is shell script on the command line so that to carry out this process so I will be writing the script step by step explaining you what is happening here so I am there on my Windows 11 system so if you want to download all the source code guides which I will write in this tutorial you can go to the video description link I have written a complete blog post this is coding section of my blog post here I have written step by step instructions so this is the actual command that I will write here shell script bat file you see that if you want to download copy this you can go to the video description link to uh, copy this so now inside your directory guys let me delete this compressed directory and here this uh, script can compress multiple PDF documents at once so you just need to copy all the PDF documents that you need to compress inside this directory and now you, we, we can write this uh, file so you can name it anything I will name it as compress.bat bat is the extension which is the batch file so I will write this code guys so the very first line we need to write here is at the rate echo of so these are all the standard parameters that you need to write in this file after that guys we will set local next line we will set the output directory which will be called as uh, gs output directory so he, you, here you can call this directory anything is equal to compressed you can call this or you can call compressed underscore files so from this name itself when you run this file this directory will get automatically created holding all the compressed files so this is meant by this line in the next line guys we need to make the directory actual using the make directory command and uh, percentage gs gs is the actual go script library underscore output directory so we just need to here we are just setting the output directory to what we have made here you will see first of all we set the output directory to the actual value and then we are setting this output directory inside go script using this command so now we will be using a for loop guys so for all the files which are present inside the directory in the root directory we will use a for loop percentage percentage i in and here we will check for the extension so dot pdf so for all the pdf files which are present inside the root directory 
we need to compress them so we will use the this software which is it will convert all the postscript files to pdf and then here we will specify the dp settings so every pdf documents has some kind of dp settings so here you can specify the dp of the file so as the dp increases the size the file size also increases so we will be compressing it to the screen size so this code is slightly complex so i can just copy paste it so i can just copy it paste it after this paste that's it so this is the file guys it is just uh, uh, five lines of code which is uh, sh shell script batch file so now the file is ready so now if i run this file what you, you will see that you just need to run this file here simply run this simply right click it or oh, sorry click it and now you will see that it will make this compressed underscore files you will see that it will make this folder instantly it has executed it if i see no files have been created let me see guys why it is the case uh, let me save this i think we haven't saved this directory uh, let me run this once again Let me delete it. Let me change this directory to compressed, guys. Let me change it to compressed here. Let me run this once again. And run this once again. Uh, let me see guys, go script installed. Check. I think we have successfully installed it. So in the previous tutorial I have shown you how to install it but I think we need to restart the system also because I haven't restarted this so in the directory here wherever we are building it I think we need to restart the system so once again we need to create this file here delete this once again create this so uh, i think guys i haven't restarted restarted the system the script is correct uh, you, you just need to restart your system after you install go script successfully on your system after you added the environment variables i have shown you in the last tutorial so you just need to restart the system before you can use go script so here you just need to restart the system and then you, this command will work perfectly work so thanks so much guys for watching this tutorial you can go to the video description link to download copy this command that i am using here and thanks so much for watching this tutorial and i will be seeing you in the next tutorial